Okay, trigonometric functions. How to deal, how to graph trigonometric functions. Suppose we have y equal f of x, a function f of x, which is equal to sine x, sine x, uh, cosine squared x. All right. Again, <clears throat> the most important thing to start with, because the domain of definition here is from minus infinity to plus infinity, and we should we might have some restricted values, but if we can prove that f of x is periodic every two pi, so we just take one period, one whole period, which is zero, two pi, and we just uh, graph this, and it will be the same part, the same graph repeated uh, from minus infinity to plus infinity every period, every interval 0 to pi so that's why each time we have trigonometric functions let us prove that f of x plus 2 pi is equal to 2x is equal to f of x sorry and it remains uh, f of x how it's sine what's the meaning of f of x plus 2 pi this means i'm remo removing the x and inserting instead of it x plus 2 pi cosine squared x plus 2 pi right which is equal what is called uh, uh, sine x plus 2 pi, since sine is a periodic function every 2k pi, so we leave it as sine x. And same for cosine, so cosine squared x. This is f of x again, so I proved that, I did prove that f of x plus 2 pi remains as f of x, right? This means, this means that f of x is periodic this means that f of x is periodic right with period with period 2 pi so instead of working all the way we just work in the <coughs> interval we take it over the interval the f of x we take it over the interval 0 2 pi so i'm just doing this now we will see on the graph how to deal with that at the end of the uh, problem. So, what do we have here? We have two endpoints, 0 and 2 pi. At each endpoint, we have to study the behavior of f of x. This is second step. Those are very important points because they are my endpoints, the endpoints of the function. So, we do what in this case? We take f of 0. f of 0 is sine 0, right? Cosine square zero instead of x so it will be equal sine zero is zero zero times one actually because sine cosine zero is one but whatever the number is it will be zero so we have one of the end points and frame it in red because we need this point at the end when we draw f of two pi it's the another the other end point so it's sine instead of x two pi cosine square instead of x 2 pi, what is 2 pi? It's 0, right? 2 pi is 0. This is the trigonometric circle, unit circle, right? So 0 here, and 2 pi also here, because if we go to pi, positive sense, we come back to 0 again. So what is this answer? It's 0. So we have another endpoint, but the abscissa will be 2 pi, and the ordinate is 0. Okay. So we have another endpoint, all right? Now, <clears throat> uh, after we uh, do uh, the period, periodic, after we uh, uh, work with the, the endpoints, we define these endpoints, let's directly take the derivative. What is the derivative of f of x or y prime, right? Let's do something here, okay? Uh, f of x, <clears throat> f of x, we have it as the form of u times v. This means its derivative should be u prime v plus v prime u, right? And uh, we have it as sine x, right? Cosine squared x. So let u equal sine x. What is the derivative of u? u prime is cosine x. We need u 
and we need we need u prime and we need u also we need v and v prime so what is v v equal cosine square x here is the important thing right if we have for example we have or or it's a rule of uh, if y equal u power m what is the derivative of y it's m multiplied with u to the power m minus one and we shouldn't forget that we have to multiply with the derivative of u which is u prime here is the same v prime it's two multiplied with cosine power two minus one x right multiplied with the derivative of u which is the derivative of cosine x here in this case so times minus sine x this is the derivative of v prime let's apply it it's u prime v u prime v u prime is cosine x we found it here times v which is cosine squared x right minus a uh, plus sorry v prime which is 2 cosine x times minus sine x times u which is we have it as sine x we end up with cosine square x a cosine cubed x sorry cosine x times cosine x times cosine squared x plus times minus is minus 2 cosine x times sine squared x let us change the sine squared x to into cosine x <clears throat> we have a main rule that says cosine squared x plus sine squared x is equal to one then cosine uh, sine squared x sorry i'm changing the sine squared x sine squared x we can replace it by one minus cosine squared x so it will be cosine to the power 3x minus 2 cosine x instead of sine squared it's 1 minus cosine squared x let's see what we get it's cosine to the power 3x minus 2 cosine x i'm expanding this product here plus 2 cosine to the power 3x 2 cosine to the power 3x plus cosine to the power 3x, we end up with 3 cosine to the power 3x minus 2 cosine x. Now let us take cosine x as common factor. It will be like 3 cosine squared x minus 2. This is the final simplified form of the derivative of f of x. Okay. Also, let us try to have it framed in red because it's also important. Now, usually when we find the derivative, we take derivative equal zero to find the minimum points, the local minimum, the local maximum. F prime of x equals zero, it's if the, this product here equals zero. And this means each factor of the product equals zero. So cosine x equal zero or three cosine squared x minus two equals zero. This gives me, this one is one of the factors equal zero. This one gives me as simplified cosine squared x equal two divided by three. We end up with two cases to be considered which is cosine x equal either radical 2 over 3. This is another one, makes the derivative 0. Or cosine x equal minus radical 2 over 3. Also, this is another case to make the derivative 0. All right? Here, <clears throat> we have to be careful. First, we, that we have to keep in mind, all always keep in mind that we are working in only one interval which is 0 to pi right 0 to pi uh, cosine x equals 0 what's that mean cosine x equals 0 means that cosine x equal cosine cosine what angle 
what r gives me zero. It's cosine pi over two. 